we're taking a precision look at how sprint cyclist Jeffrey Hoogland is preparing for his first Olympics. My name is Jeffrey Hoogland. I'm a track cyclist. I started actually with BMX when I was three years old. My brothers did it, so I came into cycling in that way. At a point, it didn't work out really good anymore. Our coach came by and said, hey, you want to try track cycling? I think you, you got some great talent. And I was like, OK, I will, I will try it and see what it is. It was weird to ride on, on the big wheels and on a bigger bike and get used to it and ha handle it how you, how you want it. And the hardest part was that the distance are a, a bit longer, so you need to have some more basic condition and be able to race longer. I think with, with the BMX background, I'm pretty skilled on my bike and that helps me in the sprint and made me <laughs> how I am now on my bike and I'm pretty happy with that. A key component in the sprint is the bike itself, designed specifically to reduce air resistance and optimize speed. This is my Koga Miata track bike. The biggest difference with a road bike and a track bike is we got no brakes. It's a steer, it's just a carbon steer, it's all stiff and no things attached to it. We got one gear as well on the, on the track bike. You choose a gear for a race and you, you have to deal with it. <laughs> the nicest things what make this bike real good is like the carbon disc wheels. It's great to do the races with it. Yeah, improves the power and gets the speed on the track where we want it. Then we got in the front the five spoke carbon wheel. With the five spoke, the wind can go through as well and it's still aer aerodynamic. Even compared to a road bike, the Velodrome bike's seat position is far higher than the handlebars, putting the rider in the best aerodynamic position. We tested it with some aerodynamic positions and you get a nice and flat back if we got the seat on this height and the steer uh, uh, yeah, around this height so we can go extra fast and uh, yeah, the wind doesn't stop us. I think you, get, you have to get used to it, but yeah, now uh, I, I'm sprinting in this position for a while and yeah, it's really good. In his preparations for Rio, Hoogland is focusing on both the individual sprint and the team sprint. He won the silver medal in the team event at this year's World Championships and is focused on going one better this summer. In training, you're motivated because you want the gold medal at the Olympics. So you have to be, be motivated and, and go as fast as you can every day and improve yourself. Otherwise, you don't really go for your goal. In the past three years, we developed with the Dutch team so good. And I think the main key of our success in the team is to trust, trust each other completely. In team sprint, your timing has to be so precise because if you close your gap too early, you can get disqualified and if you're too late, you lose some speed and, and some momentum. In training, we definitely push each other to go faster and do your training better because at the end, we need each other. My main rival for Rio, I think it's the, from Germany, Max Niederlag. I race to him a lot and he's in the same age as me and same talent. And also, Dennis Dimitriev will be a, a, a really hard rival. <laughs> the perfect Olympics for me would be two gold in team sprint and sprint. Yeah, I think I can achieve that if I give it 100% every day and keep my goal in my mind and enjoy what I do. After his morning training session, we joined Hoogland on the last of the six days event in Rotterdam, where earlier in the week he had broken the 200 meter track record owned by Sir Chris Hoy. For the second day I came really close to his uh, track record and then the next day I wanted to break that record and I was preparing myself for it and, and the commentators knew I was going to try it so they cheered everybody up and said uh, get up your feet, stand up, stand up and then I was so pumped to race that 200 meter and smashed all the power on the pedals and make it as quick as possible, as fast as possible and set the, the fastest 200 meter uh, of that day and the track record. Through this last season, I got more confident every race. I started the se season really good. I went to the Europeans. Weirdly enough, I won every race I competed. <laughs> so that was really good. And then that gave me some confidence to race and to see what I'm capable of. Yeah. 